Let us pray. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed apostle Andrew was for your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading, from the Saint, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and is so is justified. And, no con, no one con, and one confesses with the mouth and is so saved. The scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, enriching all who can call upon him. For everyone who calls on his name of the Lord will be saved. But how can they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in him who, of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? And how can people preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. But not everyone has heeded the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what was heard from us? Thus, faith comes from what is heard. And what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Certainly they did. For their voice has gone forth to all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The Your words on the Lord are spirit in my life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them are just. The judgment of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of the purest gold. Food or all stem up or honey from the comb. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. Lord. 
God or spirit in life. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. According to the Lord. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, do you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving? The church is kind of cold, right? It's almost like outside, inside the same, yeah. Okay. How many of you like fishing? Wow, wonderful. How many of you like singing? How many of you sing while fishing? Wow. Will they bring more fish? Oh, it's okay, okay, yeah, I got it, I got it, okay. So the key is, it's not that the fish are enchanted by your singing, but you scare them so that they will be all over, and unfortunately they will bite, right? Yeah, that's his theory, it's not my theory, okay? So Andrew, that we are celebrating today, is also the patron of fishing and singing. That's why I just asked you, so he's also the patron. He's patron of many other things as well. So St. Andrew, we are celebrating his feast today, that's why we sang Gloria, and because he was killed, I wear red. You know the color, right? Okay. He was a martyr, so for a martyr, I wear red, okay. St. Andrew has a famous brother. What is his name? St. Andrew has a famous brother. He's very famous. So Andrew is famous, but his brother is famous too. Yep. Saint Peter, yeah. You just heard in the Bible, yeah, the gospel was clearly that. Yeah, thank you. Saint, do you know where he was born? The place? Saint Andrew was born? Bethsaida. You hear that word in the Bible in many places? Bethsaida? It's on the coast of uh, the Sea of Galilee. Of course, he was fishing there when Jesus went around. And then, of course, we know what happened to him. He was... Uh, a disciple of Christ, then he became an apostle of Christ, and then after the death of Christ, he went into the region of Black Sea, now the present Turkey and Greece. And that's where he preached, of course, other places as well. And finally, in Petras, the place in Greece, he was killed. And he was killed using a cross. Have we ever heard about a saltire or saltire cross or St. Andrew cross? Okay, usually the cross, you know, you have two bar of wood put like this, right? Okay, so the saltire or the St. Andrew cross is made same length of uh, two bars of wood put this way, diagonal. That's called St. Andrew cross or a saltire and of course he was killed because the the theory what what according to the acts of uh, saint andrew which is not in our bible but don't worry about it when they were going to crucify him he said i am not worthy to be crucified as my master you know how peter was crucified right saint peter he said I am not worthy to be crucified as my master, and they put him upside down on the same cross. Andrew said, I am not, so they put him on this different cross. 
So he was not actually nailed onto the cross, but bound. And he died. His uh, uh, body was there, kept in, uh, in that place for a while. And then uh, eventually it was moved into Constantinople in 1353 by the order of uh, the Emperor Constantine II. And then um, eventually it was transferred to uh, the present Scotland. That's why if you see the flag of Scotland, you will see blue and a white St. Andrew cross on it. Okay. St. Andrew, he followed Jesus. He called him and he joined the group of Jesus. He became a disciple of Jesus and then he became an apostle of Jesus. And as a good disciple, he followed his master. But he always understood that my master, because he did not even want to die as his master, right? Same death, but he just wanted to differentiate. I am not worthy. I am not worthy. Again, we are all, how many of uh, us are here, the disciples of Christ? Any disciple of Christ here? Are there any disciples of Christ in this church right now? Wonderful. Basically, everybody is a disciple of Christ, right? Are there any apostles of Christ here in this church? Apostles? Yeah. Actually, we are all supposed to be disciples because we learn. Disciple simply means one who learns from the master. So we all learn from master Jesus Christ. Apostle is one who sent by the master to teach. Everyone here is supposed to go out and preach the good news to others, right? So we are the disciples and the apostles of this place this time. And we are asked to follow the Lord as St. Andrew did. Always giving importance to the master. It is the master, not us, right? We follow the master. We thank Almighty God for our life and blessings and we ask him to give us the grace so that we may continue to be one with Christ. That God may abundantly bless the church's mission to reveal Christ to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God may inspire all political leaders in working for justice and peace for their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor may receive from God's hand their fair share of the earth's goods. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For, the, for this faith community, may a spirit of unity and charity prevail among us and draw us closer together in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, may our merciful God welcome them into his eternal banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the health and the wellness of Joyce Leroy Wartsman, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Let's offer our own prayers. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do know despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin.
Gracia. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Sacrifice in your hands, and we will praise the Lord His name for our good and all holy church. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings which we bring on the feast day of St. Andrew, we may please you by what we have brought and be given life by what you have accepted through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy alone, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks 
that your hell is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Sean our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. At the same is command and for by divine issue we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. To the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously. Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May communion in your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of the blessed Apostle Andrew, we who carry in our body the death of Christ, may merit to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, 
cast into hell Satan all the evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls amen Of the Spirit. Amen. 